The identity of the elegant young man in this portrait has been lost, though he must have been a gentleman of some distinction to have had his portrait painted by Rubens, one of the most accomplished and celebrated artists of his day. The sitter appears to be in his mid-twenties. His hair is brushed back from his forehead, so we have an uninterrupted view of his face, unlined as yet by age. His mustache and goatee are neatly trimmed, and he is dressed in a sumptuous black costume of rich satin or silk, which contrasts with the elegant lace cuff at his wrist and the starched collar around his neck. The fingers of the gentleman's right hand disappear into the folds of a black cape that has been casually thrown over one shoulder. Pose, costume, and facial expression combine to convey a clear sense of the sitter's confidence in his appearance and his status. Rubens visited Italy and Spain between 1600 and 1608. On his return to Flanders, he settled in Antwerp, where he became court painter to Archduke Albert in the Infanta Isabella, the rulers of the Spanish Netherlands. Rubens traveled subsequently to other parts of Europe and England, often combining his role as painter with that of international diplomat. He developed a manner of painting that was distinguished and justly admired for its virtuoso brushwork and its use of rich, vibrant color. Rubens was immensely productive, and working with a number of collaborators and assistants, he produced large-scale altarpieces, mythological pictures, grand formal portraits, and touching intimate images of his family and friends. Though we may never know the name of the young man in this splendid portrait, the painting remains a superb example of Rubens's skill in capturing character and handling paint. <laughs>